hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to see how we can read and write floating point values from our ignition SCADA to our Modbus TCP devices so here is my Modbus TCP device which I have simulated using the Modbus slave software okay this is the Modscan32 software which is acting as a Modbus TCP client same as our ignition SCADA I can also read floating point values or I can write floating point values from Modscan same as ignition SCADA okay now what we want to exactly do is we want to read and write floating point values from our ignition SCADA to our Morbus TCP device so first of all we have to create a new device okay we are going to create a new device here and our device type will be Morbus TCP device okay because it's our Morbus TCP server and uh, we are connected with our Morbus TCP server in the Morse can using Morbus TCP IP communication so we have to select Morbus TCP here we have to press next now what will be the name of your Morbus TCP device so it will be like Morbus slave software I'm using so I'm going to use Morbus slave what is the host name host name is the IP address so this simulator is running in my local system so I'm going to use the local host IP address now you can see the port number 10502 okay and here also you can see the IP address so I'm going to use the port number 10502 for communication and I'm going to create a new device it will be connected in the moment so yeah it is connected okay now I want to read this floating point values in the ignition SCADA so first of all I have to go to addresses from the more so I'll click on the addresses I'll click on the add row I want to read float values okay I just want to read two floating point values like uh, I want to read 55.5 from here and I want to read 60.5 from here okay so I want to read these two values in the ignition SCADA and then I want to update those values so I'm going to use 0 here and 1 slave ID 1 as you can see here device ID is 1 and here also device ID is 1 now here also you can see function code 3 and here also you can see function code 3 holding register but this is a floating point value so instead of holding register integer 16 we have to use holding register float values okay now what can be my Morbus starting address okay 0 1 or 2 so if you are reading the data in the LSRF format okay then you have to uh, do the plus one of your starting address so my starting address is one right I have to do the plus one so one plus one two I have to use two when I am going to read the data in the LSRF format okay I hope this makes sense starting address is one okay and I have to do the plus one to read the floating point data in the LSRF format if I go to save you can see it will be connected in a moment yeah it is connected now I can go to um, you know OPC client and OPC quick client and here I can refresh my OPC US server I can go to devices unit ID 1 and I have two floating point data okay if I click on the read button here it should be given the output as a 55.5 so if I press read you can see 55.5 value and if I press read here it will give me 60.5 value now I want to change this value from ignition SCADA then I can write here I can write 70.5 and you can see 70.5 is updated here I can also write this value okay this uh, floating point data from ignition SCADA so if I click on write uh, 88.5 okay you can see it is updating here so if you are reading or writing in the LSRF format then you have to do the plus one while you are giving the uh, modbus addressing okay starting address so we know that uh, the register address is starting from one okay you can also see here you can also see in the more scan but we have to use two when we are trying to read the lsrf format okay now if you want to read the data in the msrf format okay so if you convert uh, here to the msrf format you will not see any proper values because msrf and lsrf has a difference okay now if I change the value here suppose 55.5 and uh, 65.5 65.5 okay now if I go back again if I yeah 
I, I didn't change anything okay it's still in the LSRF format okay if I go back again and if I try to read you can see we have uh, updated this value in the MSRF format so only MSRF format can read those value right now our ignition SCADA is configured to read in the LSRF format because here you can see the starting address is 2 so it's MSRF format okay we have done the plus one in the starting register so it's MSRF format so we cannot read the proper value okay you will see it's a zero okay although it's it is 65.5 but it is reading zero okay now I want to correctly read those values then I have to go to addresses and in the starting address I have to use one I mean the original address okay starting address original address and then I have to save it it will be connected in a moment connected I need to okay now I can uh, you can also refresh it and you can also directly read it you can see 55.5 is available for the first floating point values and 65.5 is available for the second floating point values and here you can see float is MSRF format okay I can also write some values like 1 to 5.5 you can see it is updated here I can also write some other values like 1 to 3.5 it is updated I can also write some other like 98.5 okay also I can update the values from here like 0 0.5 okay and I can able to read those values so this is how you can uh, use ignition SCADA to read floating point values from your Moodbest TCP device okay so there are two types of floating point values uh, whenever you are trying to read those uh, from your Moodbest TCP device. It can be in the MSRF format or it can be in the LSRF format. So if you are trying to read in the form of RS MSRF format, then you have to, you know, use starting address as a one, which you can see here or you can see in the uh, Moodbest server. And if you are going to read the data in the LSRF format, then you have to do the plus one in the starting address okay so i hope this makes sense and i hope it is clear to you that how you can read floating point values in the ignition scada from your Murbis tcp server okay so if you still have any question confusion or any queries then you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere otherwise we will meet you in the next video and till then take care goodbye and thank you